Have you ever looked up at the stars at night and wondered what's out there? If you have, you've been doing what astronomers have been doing for thousands of years. Let's learn more about astronomy. I'm really excited to see this. Me too. So what movie are we seeing? We're not seeing a movie. We're in a planetarium. We're going to learn about astronomy. Astronomy? What's that? Ooh. Astronomy is the study of all things beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Come along and find out more. Astronomy is considered to be one of the oldest sciences. Humans have been scanning the skies since the dawn of time. Prehistoric tribes built Stonehenge about 2500 BC. These stones were aligned to mark the winter and summer solstice. Ancient Chinese astronomers identified and classified stars. Ancient Mayans calculated some of the most accurate calendars to trace the motions of the sun. They built giant temples that aligned to those motions. All of the ancient astronomers did this by painstakingly measuring the position of the stars night after night, year after year. But those early astronomers got some things wrong. Ancient Greek astronomers put the Earth at the center of the solar system, not the sun. That view of the heavens lasted until the 1600s when Nicholas Copernicus suggested the Earth and all the planets moved around the sun, not the Earth. Through Copernicus's time, all astronomers made their observations with just their eyes. But in the 1600s, a new invention came along and forever changed astronomy. Can you guess what it was? Was it the telescope? That's right. Galileo improved on an existing invention and made a refracting telescope. And having a telescope opened up the universe. Are there different kinds of telescopes? There are lots of different kinds of telescopes. That's right. There are a number of different kinds of telescopes. Let's start with the optical or telescopes using light. There are two basic kinds. The first is the refracting telescope. It uses two lenses to focus and magnify an image. The end lens is convex and the lens by the eyepiece is concave. They work by bending light inward. Reflecting telescopes don't use lenses. They use concave mirrors to focus the light together. Both of these telescopes look at the universe with visible light, the light you can see with your eyes. But most objects, even your own body, give off frequencies of energy that we can't see with our eyes. So different kinds of telescopes have been designed to detect different kinds of energy. There are radio telescopes. These detect the natural radio waves coming out of the universe. Infrared, ultraviolet, gamma, and X-ray telescopes look at other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. But many telescopes on Earth face a similar problem. The Earth's atmosphere scatters visible light, making images blurry. The Earth's atmosphere also blocks some colors of light and high-frequency radiation. To avoid that, many telescopes are placed on high mountaintops where there's less atmosphere, or they're sent into space. The Hubble telescope went into space inside the space shuttle in 1990. It uses different cameras to take pictures of different things. Some look at large areas of the sky. Others focus on one target, say a black hole. Scientists on the Hubble project also use spectrographs to study the light coming from stars. Spectrographs separate light into different colors and then measures how much of each color of light there is. That way astronomers can tell how old a star is and what elements it's made up of. The James Webb Space Telescope has been sent even further into space. It's designed to study the atmospheres of other planets outside our solar system and to see stars billions of light years away. But just because we have space telescopes doesn't mean we can't do some pretty amazing stargazing here on Earth. I'd like to welcome everybody to our star party tonight in Stanley, Idaho, and I'd like to thank you all for coming out. The Central Idaho Dark Sky Reserve is the nation's first and the 12th largest in the world. Because there's so little light pollution here, everybody can get a remarkable view of the heavens. And look up at the sky. We got one star already, so we're getting close. To preserve the dark, we use a special camera. All right, there you go. I promise I did not cut out Saturn and just put it on the end of my telescope. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and the people here are doing what humans have done for thousands of years, looking up at the stars and wonder. Oh, that's amazing. Wow, I'd really like to see Saturn. Me too. Well, I know where to find Saturn tonight. How do you know that? Hey, wait a minute, you're not texting, you're looking at the Science Trek website. If you want to learn more, head to the Science Trek website. You'll find facts, links, 
games, material for educators and parents, and much more. You'll find it all at sciencetrek.org.